online weddings are the trend for 2023 and beyond. As a way to kind of center a wedding, create a lane for your wedding that will make your decisions and all the stuff that you have to get accomplished so much easier and so stress-free. Winemaker and lifestyle expert Amy LaBelle is pouring out ideas and inspiration to plan a wine-centric nuptial event for couples to savor their big day. If you love wine and the wine culture, wine weddings are really the, the theme to choose for your wedding because wine is timeless, it's elegant, and it's something that will never go out of style. So you'll look back on your photos in 10 years and you will still be in love with your wedding. You won't say, oh, that was a, you know, a dated trend or something that didn't work. And to weave that theme through your entire wedding, you can you know, say you love Chardonnay or Champagne. You can choose a color theme that resonates with that wine that you choose. So in the case of Chardonnay, you would say uh, all straw gold colors and greens, things that, you know, that come to mind when you think of a vine or a vineyard. And then you can weave vineyard and wine themes through your ceremony vows. So you can you know, weave nature and imagery through your vows. You can have a wedding outside in a vineyard if you so choose. Or if you're doing a DIY home wedding, no problem. You can make sure you have wine-centric decor for your ceremony. You could do barrels as the altar with uh, gorgeous florals on top. Your florals can be accented with cork. You can do cork decor on all of your tables. You can have wine bottle table decor for your centerpieces. You can use wine bottles as table numbers to guide your guests as to where to sit. And then you can do boutonnieres for the grooms that have a cork as the accent on the bottom. There are millions of ways that you can kind of subtly bring wine into your theme, not only in what you're drinking, but in all of the decor around you. And she explains a wine-themed wedding can influence everything from the colors and decor to the flowers and invitations, and of course, the menu, from cuisine to cocktails. You also really want to weave it into your menu. So not just what you're pairing with your food, but rather making sure that wine is a central ingredient in all of the menu items as well. So that you're cooking with wine, you are infusing wine into sauces, or you're braising your proteins in wine, or you are making some you know, gorgeous desserts with wine. There are always opportunities to infuse wine into your culinary experiences, and I really love to push that envelope all the time. Using wine in your cooking is so important because you can weave whatever you're drinking and enjoying with your meal right into the ingredients of the meal. So it's kind of this seamless, beautiful taste experience. It's another way to showcase the wine, of course. And you know, whether you're cooking or whether you're making cocktails, it's always about layering flavors, right? You're always wanting to bring some kind of new flavor environment, something new and interesting for your palate to enjoy. And wine can do that for you in a cocktail because it's not kind of something you think about when you're making cocktails always. So it's just act, adding that extra bit of flavor, that extra layer of something special. Sounds like a perfect pair.